Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you again with another 10 Car Tuesday episode. And today we've got Cadillac. So starting with this one right here, this is the classic Caddy. It is on a blue card. It is from 1989, I think. Uh, I think that's when it's from. Well, it's copyright date 91, so 92 maybe. I'm not sure when exactly this one was from. I thought it was closer to 1989, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. This is a it's a blue card. Um, it debuted, the, the casting itself debuted in 1982. It's had tons of little mainline releases. It was used in California Customs. It was a treasure hunt in 1995. Uh, we haven't seen it since 2012, and I don't think we're actually going to see it again. We saw it in 2012 in the Road Trippin' series, and I would honestly... Um, doubt that uh, we'll see this casting released again. I don't know. It's hard to say. It's got a metal base. And I don't know if they ever tooled it with a plastic base. So for them probably to put this car out again, they would have to do that. Um, plus it's just got too many pieces. So it's got a metal base. There's a separate piece that does this uh, uh, fender situation, which is plastic. Um, this chrome bit up here in the front is also plastic. That's got to be a separate piece, chrome plastic. Uh, of course, the windshield, the interior, and then, of course, the body, you know, wheels and tires. So it's just there's too many pieces to this casting. I just don't think we're going to see it again. But who knows? I could be wrong. So I guess, yeah, it's, it's uh, Metal Flake Blue. This is kind of a real dark... Either real dark blue, purplish, real dark blue, I guess. Looks black under most light. Um, but it's a pretty cool little casting. It's got some weight to it, of course, <coughs> being that it's all metal on the white wall tires. And it looks okay. So there's your classic caddy. Um, the next one we'll take a quick look at is the Custom 53 Cadillac. I'm going to zoom in on the card real quick. If you want to see there you go this was a 2009 new model this is one of the variations i guess for 2009 i don't know how many uh variations were put out but it debuted in 2009 the main line it actually was a super treasure hunt in 2010 and then uh 2012 got a multi-pack release and then uh it was just used in 2019 mainline and also had a target red edition um, it's actually kind of a cool model got the caddy logo, logo up in the front there chrome grill uh, nice color metal body you got like the little like soapbox racer thing in the back it's plastic and chrome plastic base I'm sure this is probably part of the interior piece and then the windows of course kind of done up like an El Camino a lot of the Cadillacs that they come out you'll see here is all their custom Cadillacs it seems so and that's pretty cool I mean I, I would I would drive that in real life I think it'd feel pretty awesome driving one of these these big boats anyway so this is really cool I, I dig this casting I think it's kind of neat and they haven't used it too many times <clears throat> so that's kind of cool too I like when they kind of use castings a little more sparingly um, let's see here what's next the let's do this one next the 59 caddy uh, so here's the 59 this is an older Cadillac tooling uh, this one is from the Low and Cool series, which was a mainline sub-series. And this one, I think, came out in 1998. The casting's been used a ton of times. Uh, debuted in 1991 in both the mainline and the California Custom series. It's a long one. It's, it's okay. It's really skinny. Long and skinny. So yeah, it was a treasure hunt in 1996, and I think the last time that uh, it has ever been used was in the 2008 uh, Easter Egg Exclusives, Exclusives uh, series. So plastic base, metal body, 
got kind of a low rider uh, style paint job um, white interior mm. not the best Cadillac casting but it's okay and there's that one all right next let's take a look at these this is the custom Cadillac Fleetwood this thing's kind of interesting. Um, this particular one we're looking at here is one of the debut models, 2013. Uh, this is another casting that really hasn't been used too much. It definitely has a pretty cool look to it. Kind of an interesting interior to make it like a one-seater. Hmm. Uh, so this one's metal, body, plastic fenders, plastic base, and of course plastic wheels and stuff, chrome interior. Um, it looks all right. It's kind of neat. So this one is from 2013. It was also used in the 2014 Road Trippin' series, and then they just put it out again uh, for 2020. And here it is. You can see a little bit more separation here between the metal body part and the plastic like fenders. Um, I don't think this one looks quite as good. They got some really cool tampos on the actual car or metal part of the car itself, but then they forego the tampos on the side, which I think really make it. There's also this weird piece in the side too that is part of, it's like the exhaust right there, but it's made as part of the, the windshield piece. It's a def definitely an interesting design for a tooling. Um, I don't really see it being used as like a super treasure hunt or anything cool like that, but um, and it's not a bad looking sort of fantasy casting. I don't know if there's a real life custom Cadillac that's been, you know, cut up like this and made like this I don't know so who knows but uh, it, it's all right dig it a bit all right so uh, we've had five cars so far the next one is we'll do this this one the custom 59 Cadillac so here is this one not much to look at on the card this one's from 2010 um, I do have this one, and I've got two other of these to look at. So this one's the 2010 one. Um, this debuted in the 2002 mainline, used quite a few times uh, in the mainline. 2006, it was a treasure hunt. Um, a couple five-pack exclusives, I think. The 2010 mainline, 2011 Cars of the Decade series was the last time that we've seen it. And here it is in this beautiful looking purple. It's a really nice looking casting, actually. Of these, all these classic caddy kind of looking castings, I think this one's the coolest. It's dropped low. Just looks really slick. Big fins in the back. Looks pretty good. So there's 2010, and then I've got two other ones here from 2007. Here's one of them right here. That looks pretty nice with the flames. Nice color blue. Got to go with chrome base on this one because that's what does the bumper and everything else. Pretty interesting. And then lastly, this is probably the coolest looking one. This one in flat black with a more yellow flame and yellow interior. This one looks pretty cool. Um, don't know if I dig the yellow interior so much. It would almost be better just with the black interior, but it does look pretty awesome. It looks pretty, pretty mean, so digging that one. And then I got two more caddies to show you, and these are going to be a little bit different than what we've seen so far. So mostly what we've seen is kind of classic Cadillacs. Um, but Hot Wheels also put up this, which is the Cadillac Escalade. Uh, so this is a 2006 new model. It's a 2007 Escalade, but 2006 new model for the main line. I get it here in pearl white. I think it was uh, put out in a few different colors. 
This one gets the uh, plastic treatment there. Chrome grill. Now, there are two different versions of this casting. There's a plastic body one with a metal base, I think, that was used in the color shifters line and also used in, um, I think, the year after this in 2007, they did a um, one that was like gold. And it was, a, I believe, a plastic uh, plastic body. Uh, it's been out a few times. Um, nothing too notable uh, as far as releases go. Last it was seen, though, was 2013. So we have actually not seen this tooling in a while. And I think it's actually a pretty nice little tooling. I mean, obviously it's smaller than 164 scale. And this one just gets the side markers, the side, um, you know, the side part of the tail lights. I mean, it's not a bad looking model. I like the wheels on it, on this one. I think they look pretty good. Pearl white looks pretty good. Hot Wheels was doing this weird thing with the bases in this era where they had like the little Hot Wheels logo right there, part of the interior piece. It's weird. So this one obviously has a chrome interior because it's part of the running boards and all that stuff. I don't know if it's part of the front or if this is a separate piece. I'm guessing that's probably part of the interior. I've never drilled one of these in heart, so I don't know for sure. But here is your Cadillac Escalade in pearl white. And then lastly, very different, <clears throat> is this one right here. This is the Cadillac LMP 2001 First Edition. I'll go ahead and open it right away. And there's your LMP car. This is pretty cool. So this one, 2001 mainline debut. Um, seen it a few times. 2010, it got Speed Machines treatment, which is pretty cool. Um, it was a mystery model in 2013, and the last time we've seen it, which is 2019, it was a mystery model. So this is something different. I think it's actually pretty neat. I the, Out of all of them, this one, I don't know if it's my favorite. I think the Escalade actually is my fave. And then uh, second choice would probably be this one. Then this would probably be third, but this is pretty cool. <clears throat> Being an LMP model. Le Mans prototype. Pretty awesome. So, that's going to be it for this 10 Car Tuesday. We looked at 10 Hot Wheels Cadillacs in this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it and thought it was kind of neat. Uh, again, check out the playlist. Uh, for these uh, 10 Car Tuesday episodes, there's a bunch of different ones. Cover a wide variety of uh, stuff on them. So check it out. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it. So thank you guys very much for watching. Have yourself a great day.